Uh, things have been a real struggle lately. Um, it's just been rough on the team, rough on the coaches, rough on everyone out here. But uh, we're staying positive as best you can. And uh, I'm kind of proud of the way the players have stuck together and no one's really turned on anybody. Does it seem sometimes like, I mean, seriously, the scoring issues that you guys have had, does it seem like there's a little bit on the basket? Like it's just, yeah. you can't get a bounce break or anything like that? <laughs> it really does seem like that. It seems like some teams can throw it in the ocean and we just can't get anything to go. But uh, again, we're staying positive and just hopefully one day that, that lid comes off. How do you keep things from beating you guys on the board? Uh, they. They murdered us on the board's first game. Uh, I think they beat us by 13. And uh, they're a very physical team, very big team, very strong team. You got to box them out. You got to you got to work for every rebound. You got to can't take any possessions off defensively. It's uh, they're a team that you just got to fight for every loose ball. You got to get every 50-50 ball against them to even have a chance to win. Did you guys take them lightly last time around? Uh, I feel that some people might have looked at them and thought, okay, they lost, but they have seven scholarship players left. And some people might have looked at that and thought, okay, we should we should win this, start 1-0 in conference. And then it came out and really kind of punked us and stuck it to us on our own home court. And I think that was kind of a wake-up call. And so I think we're, we should be more, way more ready for them this time around. I think after that last game, Coach said it was the worst rebounding performance a team has ever had that he's coached here at Albany. Does he bring that up now? Uh, it, practice? It, was, it was a bad rebound. We've done a couple rebounding drills. One or two rebounding drills this uh, this week to get prepared for Binghamton. So he's definitely bringing it up. It's definitely a point of emphasis this week. Uh, we're really trying to uh, focus on what we need to do to beat them, and that's one of the biggest keys. A few rebounding drills this week. Yeah, we did. We did a few. Um, you know, yesterday uh, in particular, we got after it pretty good on the glass, and you know that was uh, a huge advantage for Binghamton in the first game. They got plenty of second uh, point opportunities. Uh, 41 28 on the glass and uh, you know we we're usually the team that uh, you know in past years has had the 41 and uh, so they really did a nice job uh, the tough thing with them is they have great size especially on the perimeter uh, they played uh, the coups at the point against us the first time you know he's six foot three 230 pounds and uh, you know Mike Black's about half of that so uh, you know that was a tough matchup for us he hurt us on the glass and Collectively, they did. They've got great length. Uh, they're active. They're athletic. And uh, the glass and dribble penetration, uh, you know, hurt our defense. And then, you know, offensively, their length and uh, all their switching uh, defensively bothered us as well. You said after that game, when talking about rebounding, you said it wasn't necessarily as much of the physical nature of it. It was more heart and more want. Had, is that something you've discussed with the guys this week? To want that ball every single time against these guys? You know, Dennis Rodman's the best rebounder of all time, and he's never blocked out. Uh, you know, you need to be a ball getter. Um, you, you need to block. Out, you, you need to make contact with guys. But I mean, as far as technique is concerned, uh, you know, it's like we tell our guys: hit and run. You know, hit and run. Yeah, got to make contact. Got to go get the ball. And uh, we need a bunch of ball getters uh, tomorrow against Binghamton because if they look at the stats, they remember that they buried us on the glass the first time. So they'll probably early in the game go to the glass even harder. And if we show some resistance and we hit them before they hit us, you know, I think that'll be uh, you know to our benefit. But if we allow them to hit us first, we're going to be in trouble.